Plenty of experience. He is in his element. This is his. This is his his realm. Jordan's game. Everyone else is just playing it. What do we got? Forty-five. Not wasting time. Here he comes. Box to volcano. Three sixty. Bar bar bar. Looks like the toe side inward on the front side. Double front flip across the box. Thirty-five left. Downside butter. Up and over the volcano, a real nice 360 downhill bar spin. Flare inward combo there to invert over the box backwards. 20 left, quad downside whip. Pretty sure there was four in there. 360 transfer, flail on the big wall. Still bare time, inward to tail whip. Really showing everyone what how it's done. Double flare as well. He knows what he's doing out there. Triple whip, 540 flare bar. Still got time. Flip, drop as well. Packed it in. Come on. Wow. Yeah, That's really shown us nothing. why he's qualified through in first place. That was phenomenal riding from Jordan Clark. And it's not just the tricks that he's doing. It's how he's executing them. Landing pretty much everything perfect, right? Absolutely. And ready for the next trick. No, uh, yeah, just no issues out there. A couple of pushes. Maybe just one or two, but with the tricks that he packed in there, my days. The flip right on the buzz too. Still got a spot trick left to achieve, but judging by the looks of this rider, he's not had any problems so far. That was huge. Nah, no, looking really, really composed. Yeah, like I said, you know, he's in his element for sure. If he does take gold today, it'll be his fifth or sixth time at this level, and uh, that's really saying something. So getting ready for that trick attempt. One. Here he comes on the volcano, setting up for something here. Looks like 540 flare, downhill, bar spin. So the three-piece there. He's stoked. He knows that it's looking pretty good. Yeah, he's stoked, and the crowd is even more stoked. This is run number one for Jordan Clark. Beautiful double fronty, double flare as well. No bar spin, just 360, uh, sorry, 540 flare downhill. Very, very complicated. Throwing that deck in the opposite direction of the spin, catching it. <laughs> there it is. Big. So 96.68 is what is needed to get into that first place position. Whoa! And we are over 100 points. I didn't think that was possible. 100.67 coming in for run number one. The man of the hour is already in the bag, and this is a victory run for your current leader, Jordan Clark, out of Great Britain. Can he do it better? than how he did it better before. Let's find out. A hundred points on the board. He's taking his victory lap for the sixth time, as is being confirmed with, by the YouTube chat. Sixth time world champion. What an accomplishment. 45 seconds on the clock. What do we got? 360 bar, bar, bar. The same way. Real nice stuff. Transferring, looking for the box jump. Wow, whip inside the cash roll. Downside butter. So instead of the double fronty, we got the whip cash roll. 540 flare bar spin there, so a bit earlier in the run. Quad whip there. 540 flare downhill, that was his first spot trick inside the run. Might have been trick repeat there, three or four. Flare downhill. Wow, stanky leg across the box, just drifting a little bit. No quad downside, just one tail whip there. Backside three is a flail straight, no fast plant, no tail whip, but quarter bank this time. Something a little different. Is it better, worse? Hard to say. It was incredible. Certainly changing up that run for sure, but knowing you've already got it in the bag, <laughs> it's definitely a nice feeling when you drop in. He's loving it.
Charlie's loving it. We see Dyson on screen there. Yeah, Mad Gear's going to be very happy. And so will the clock. Still got one Damn trick boy. remaining. This one's for everyone watching at home. And for the crowd, he knows he's already got it. Hard to argue when they say he's the best. He is the king. Certainly Six living up to that confirmed. name. Yeah, for sure. Just when he thought that Jordan Clark didn't have it still, he's got it still, man. First to qualify, first place. He sat there. Yeah, by quite some amount as well. Taking it over 100. All right, what have we got? A bit of visualization there going on. Yeah. What have we got? What have we got? It might be the... Oh, I'm just going to let it roll. Here he comes. Final trick. Could be a weldy. Could be something out of this world. Hello. The 900! The 900 flare bar! I was going to say it. I didn't want to say it in case I jinxed him. But it didn't work out, unfortunately, there. But what a death-defying stunt. That was incredible. What yeah, he could guy. have easily just done something simple to see it off there, but definitely wanted to put on a show. And what a show it was. This is our replays for your gold medalist, Jordan Clark. Yeah, Matty. Jumping up into that brass medal position and taking that away. So he did hold on. Yeah, he held, he on. held on. It was a nervous yeah, wait awesome. through the next five riders, but super stoked that he maintained <laughs> yeah, that bronze place. Excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. It looks like, yeah, he was, um, yeah, super, super wrapped. He looked like a big uh, weight had been lifted off his shoulders there. Yeah, he's okay, super stoked, and rightly so. some of me need some of that madrid sun so second place and the silver medal going to jaden shaman from great britain what a talent such control on him a eh? just such uh such strength composure professionalism yeah great guy great rider Wearing that what silver medal, seen. getting that big wobbly check and a goodie bag. Jaden Sharman, silver medal. They'll be out shopping for their big envelope, envelopes later on, eh? To send them home, isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. That is one big envelope. So, last medal to give away your new world champion. And Returning gold world medalist champion. is Jordan Clark from Great Britain. Let's go, JC. Doing it once again. I love to see it. You know, he's from my era, or, you know, my generation of rider, and to see him still here, still at a pro level, he's still really young, you know, mid 20s, but who's to say? Getting through a career of this stature, you know, six-time world champion, with the amount we've been talking about how dangerous it is and how one move can put you off. You know, there was uh, you know, lots of ankle damage done in the, even the warm-up sessions, the practice sessions for, you know, some of the other riders that didn't make it all the way to the end. And Jordan has just got a career full of those moments, just making it and making it and making it. And that has obviously a lot of hard work behind it. Can't take it away from him. So there you have our podium positions. Matty, Jaden, and world champion Jordan Clark.